tonight's Viewer Mail, we discuss foods to reduce the risk of prostate cancer and one way to cook garlic. 22 News Registered Dietitian Nancy Dell joins us live tonight to help answer your questions. Of course, thank you so much for coming in tonight, Nancy. Thank you. Our first question tonight comes from Mike in Northampton. He asks, we have many friends that have developed prostate cancer. How can I reduce my risk? Yeah, one in six American men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer, and autopsy studies show that more than half of all men over age 50 have it. Some just don't know it. Your diet can raise or lower your risk. According to the studies at University of California, men raise the risk of prostate cancer if they drink whole milk and lower the risk eat drinking low-fat milk. Egg yolks may also increase the risk. Men who ate six eggs uh, or eggs six times a week were two times more likely to have their prostate cancer progress. Choline is a nutrient found in egg yolks and is also high in prostate cancer cells. Until we know more, researchers, researchers suggest that men eat more egg whites and fewer yolks. You can also reduce your prostate cancer risk with coffee, cruciferous vegetables, and fish. Prostate cancer risk will drop 60% in people who drink six cups or more of coffee each day. It can be caffeinated or decaf. Men who eat the most fish have a 63% lower risk of prostate cancer, but the fish oil supplements may actually increase the risk, so eat the real fish. And finally, just one serving of a cruciferous vegetable a week can cut your risk in half. Your cruciferous vegetables are broccoli and cabbage, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, and Swiss chard. And does your weight play a role in all this? Yes, weight also is a, a factor. You reduce your risk if you maintain a healthy weight, you exercise, and you don't smoke. Okay, some great advice. Our second question tonight was sent in to us online by Cheryl. She asks, are there really benefits to letting chopped garlic rest before cooking it? Uh, yes, there are. If you let the uh, garlic rest for 10 minutes before you cook it, a compound called allicin forms. According to the American Institute of Cancer Research, allicin can enhance the repair of your DNA and prevent cancer cells from growing all over your body. Thank you so much, Nancy. And if you have a question for her, you can write to her via the address on your screen right there, or you can log on to our website, wwlp.com.